see a grand search. This is so not right. Where to God if y'all put me in jail for I something have. I didn't do? I <laughs> Gender does not determine who faces abuse, as evident in today's video. Thankfully, law enforcement is present to step in and rescue these men from their abusive partners who handle the situation poorly. Daddy, help! Help me, Daddy! On July 27, 2022, in Dayton, Ohio, law enforcement responded to a reported domestic disturbance at a residence. A woman, claiming to be the homeowner's wife, engaged in a heated exchange with officers while he refuted her assertion. I don't know if he's asking the questions. I'm, I just want my stuff. He's in there. I don't, I don't want to press charges or anything. I just want my stuff. Do you have an ID? No. No. Okay. Well, it ain't their dog running around no more. What's the dog? Oh. Hi. Which name are you with? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 What's your name? Oh, uh, uh, I'd like to stay anonymous if that's fine. I'm not Sorry, pressing King. charges. I just want to. No, no, we're here, so I need the name. I just want my stuff. Oh, uh, uh huh. Who? Yeah. No, no. that's my name. My that's my husband. husband. That's my husband. We are not married. You are, or ain't. We no. are. We are. Not even a little bit. A little um, bit. that's we been have, my husband. We have occasionally, and that's that's as far as our relationship goes. Oh, what? Well, Excuse me? Let, let me? Let me explain. Ohio is not a common law state. So there's no such thing as a common law marriage. You either have oh, a no, we're mar married. marriage we, certificate or not. We are married. Show them the marriage certificate. Did you hear that? Because you ain't got one because we're not married, dummy. My dad married us. Oh, hell. You don't remember? Really? No, your dad took you to the mental hospital. So oh, what? So what? what, 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 what listen, okay, okay. Well, what what, what property got... is, is in dispute here? Uh, my, my, listen, she's got my let me electric explain. bike battery. No. no. And she, she, she done put it in a bucket of water and... And now it's gone. I can't find it. It's not in the house. She was. She before no. you guys got here. She went walking down that way. And when she came out, she came out from across the street down in the backyard. Okay. And what property do you want? Anyways, no. See I got a thing? bunch of her stuff. Yep. Yeah, no. I got a bunch of her stuff. I got totes full. So how long have you been released to here? Then? A few days. But they didn't. uh they didn't even ask me why. They didn't. The the he was supposed to call. He was supposed to call these people to come and pick me up. Supposedly. But you, you're too crazy. And okay. I have, you, have you called for trying home detention yet? Yeah. I That's what he said. I don't know if he called them or not. I want to make sure. I'd be happy to give her back. I just want my battery. It's twelve hundred dollar yeah. battery. You're my fiance. Why the hell Anyways. would I take money from you? Where are you going? Why are you going over there? Well, you can go back to the... He'll come and talk to you. Go back to the porch. Hey! Growing increasingly impatient and agitated, the woman disregarded the officer's instructions and sat on the road. Consequently, she was apprehended, though her reaction was resistant. Simple. Is that what I do? On the porch. Go. Now. Stand up. This is what they did to me in jail, you know that, what right? They treated me like a dog, like a, it was disgusting. You know? And I, I, you know. Hey, stop! I'm, I'm sorry, um, are you not gonna read me my rights first? Nope. Excuse me! Nope. Excuse me! Sir! Uh, I haven't done anything! I'm a victim here! Yes, but he's, he's, he's been breaking my stuff in there all day. You don't understand it. It took you guys forever to get here. And that's all I have is my sentimental things, man. You, what do you mean? It's already done. The damage is already done because it took them forever to get here. Why did it take you guys so long to get here, by the way? You're just right down the street. Why? I got this Look, I don't, I don't want him to get in trouble. I don't want me to get in trouble. I just want my face. Why? Because I'm kidding. What you put? Yeah. Um, my bag. Yep. No, I'm not. You can't detain me here. This is a kidnapping. 
doing it. Excuse me, you can't put me in these handcuffs. It's illegal. Oh. You guys, he's in there with my stuff. Hey, I'm going to get in trouble because this ankle monitor. If I'm away from that house too long, I'm going to get in trouble. You don't care? Excuse me, sir, can you help me? Because I've got this ankle monitor on and if I leave outside of that porch, they're going to they're gonna try to call me and I don't have my phone on me. And then I'm going to go to jail. Sir, are you listening? Oh. Well, I guess it don't matter. I'm already here, right? Yeah, you guys are the ones that are in charge of that anyways. <laughs> sir, can you... Why are you ignoring me? I'm gonna get, I need to call the, the, um, in home to did my dad. Daddy! <laughs> hey, excuse me. You're illegally detaining me. You guys, he's in there with my, st <laughs> can, I, can I get the dog, please? Can you please get the dog out of there? Hey. Can you guys please get that dog out of the house, please, so he doesn't do anything? I don't even care about myself. I just want the dog. Hello? No? None of you guys have children or animals? What the f***? Please, can you go get him? His name is Venom. Officers, help me, please! <laughs> oh. Hey! Oh. Um, hello, who's ever on the computer? Can you please listen? I'm being illegally held in the back of an Indianapolis cop car. Despite her pleas for assistance, which went unheeded, the situation escalated, prompting police intervention to prevent further harm. You guys are the framers? Oh yeah, the framers and the doctors. He'll want, okay. I'm talking and so you can to me. No, I'm not because you haven't been listening to me. You've been doing this whole procedure illegally. Call judge. Call my judge or the home to, call my judge. Call my PO right now. I know my rights, and uh, this is not it. This is not Indiana either. This is not Indiana, and I'm not state property. Oh my God! Excuse me. Can you hear me? Okay, I'm in here, but this is illegal. You're letting him leave. This is illegal procedure. Sit down. Don't you do it. Settle down. I'm not going to in here. I'm not going to. You just got to sit up. There's, he's got illegal stuff in that house. Okay, Tell sit her, up. No, he's got, he's got your sit daughter's, up. your wife's stuff. Dude, there's, oh, there's a, a big black, there's a stolen, there's a bike, a big black. Uh, a battery thing, a bomb. There's a bomb in there. He's a goddamn. What the? F There's a bomb in that house. Can I please show you? No, you don't want to know, dude. That has to be what he was talking about. He kept screaming about a battery. Now I know what he's talking about. No, you Settle listen. Down. Dude, there is. Oh, that's not good. He just left. There's a. He just left it in there. You guys, I gotta. Sh oh my god. You guys. Stop it! This is illegal! You didn't even read me my rush! Sir! Give Sam, me the dog! Settle down. Sam! Settle yes! Yes! Down. I'm yes! Settle. Yes! Yes! I know! I know! I know! I know! Stop it! I know! Oh, I thought you didn't know my name! Know my name, Dad! Sit. Get up here, settle oh. down! No, my It'll be. But come on. See, you do know. Oh, you're sick. This is why someone was in there. That's why someone was in there with their other wrists. Oh my god. Shut up. Daddy. Daddy. Daddy, help. Help me, Daddy. Help. Oh my god, help me. Daddy. Daddy. That's your son, isn't it? That's why you. 
guys. Whoa, that's what I want. No, oh my god. Daddy, please. Please. Oh, right now, call. Call. Oh, stop it, kissing the lady. Despite her vehement protests, including false claims of a bomb threat, the officers remained steadfast. Ultimately, the woman was charged with disorderly conduct, assaulting a police officer, and resisting arrest. Prepare yourself for more encounters with law enforcement involving volatile girlfriends, and brace yourself for the shocking aftermath that ensues. Our next story unfolds in Key West, Florida, on October 25, 2023. A woman found herself embroiled in a heated dispute with her boyfriend, and upon questioning, scratch marks were discovered. Hey, Booby, can you I'm in my house. I am in my house. Can I talk to you for a quick second? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Can we step inside and talk for a while? Everyone can come inside. Can you? Can you? Why are there three officers at my house right now? I want him to stay with me. I, I want know. him in my house. I know. So, real quick. It is are literally you? just the coins I found. Okay, but it's I'm not. I'm fine. But, but it's not just that. Okay. Can I see your arms real quick? Flip them over for me. You got some long nails. Sure do. Okay. So, you don't have any injuries on your legs or anything, right? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Nothing around your neck. Can you pull your shirt down just a little bit just so you can see your color? Okay. So, at what point tonight did you scratch him? Because he's got scratch marks on him. Probably all sorts of the night. We were dancing, we were. I don't know. Could have been anything. We so. literally just got home. I was upset. Mm -hmm. I spilt my coins. Mm -hmm. That was it. That's not it, right? I'm what happened with the? It. Okay, I I don't think that's it. What happened with the wine falling off the fridge? The wine just fell off the fridge. My this is a studio apartment. Yep. So the wine fell off the fridge. Okay, understand. That was it. Here you can look. There's my fridge. There's lots of things going on in the middle. There's mm -hmm. costumes everywhere. Mm -hmm. So what? Okay. Can you hang on with her for just a My quick second? Thank you. All right, I need to speak with you. Sure. Stay here. Yes, sir. As one officer conversed with another, the woman, dressed scantily, engaged in a confrontation with a different officer. Initially, the audio was muted, but it was later activated during the altercation, revealing the true nature of the incident. have to do that, bro. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. Get up. I am a kid, bro. Why are you pushing me? So, they're dealing with this. I come up, Hesse, at some point Hesse and Glovinov are in the corner talking. She's attempting to come out of the room and engage with the other half. I say no, step back. She doesn't. I say step back. She comes up more. She says this is my house. I put my hand on her, put her back in towards the house. She pushes me. You're standing at the doorway? Yeah. Full on pushes me. I push her back. I attempt to grab a hand, she comes back, hauls up and hits me in the face. This side right here. All right, buddy? Oh, I'm good. Hits me in the face. We somehow 
we tussle. I throw a strike back at her face. She ends up on the bed. And then I go to cuff her. She kicks me. And Where? I go back. Where is she kicking? Uh, I think in the, in the chest. She kicks me. I step back. I fall. I'm on the ground. And that's when Hesse and Glovenoff come in. As I'm getting back up, Hesse, I think it was Hesse, ends up tasing her. The girlfriend was subsequently arrested for battery on a law enforcement officer and resisting arrest with violence. These charges carry the possibility of a prison sentence ranging from one to two years. Let's delve into another outrageous case from Florida where a couple is headed for trouble, and I assure you it's unsettling. On September 22nd, 2018, in a Key West hotel, law enforcement received a call regarding a minor dispute between a couple in their room. Upon reaching the the scene, they encountered the woman visibly distressed. Are you okay? No, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Well, why am I here? Why is someone calling I don't the know. Police? I think you need to leave. I don't, I don't know what's going on. We, we I'm came here. back. I, honestly, I'm so embarrassed. I don't know what's going right. on. We came back. We came back from the pool and we had a great day. And then all of a sudden, he just told me he was leaving and we're not supposed to check out. Monday morning. I don't know what's you going think, on. Do you think he's leaving to, to separate? I don't know. For, I don't know. Or just temporary because you guys are fighting? I'm or? so embarrassed. I have no idea. You are have there, to go. Are there any weapons in here? No. All right, can you just have a seat real quick? No. Take a deep breath. No. I don't want him to leave. We're not supposed to leave till Monday morning. Listen, I'm here. I have to investigate this. I understand. So I, I, I don't know. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going I know. on. Take a deep breath. Can you have a seat? Take a deep breath. I don't know. I honestly, I don't know what's going on. We were supposed okay. to get ready for okay. dinner. I don't know what's okay. going on. Okay. She seems really intoxicated. Yeah. So I'm trying to leave. Okay. So can, you break, can, you, can you break it down for me? What? She had too much to drink. I just got three hours ago or something. And, uh -huh. uh, are those, is that from, that from earlier? It, it's fine. I just... Is I that just, any yes or no questions? Is that from earlier? It's right it's, here? Oh, no, no. That's, that's all. That's okay. all. You said she was trying to strangle you and stuff yeah, like that? She was, she was just trying to keep me from leaving. Everything's fine. I just, can I just get my black back and leave? I don't know. Do you have idea on it? Yeah. Alright, I see it. You guys have a kid together? Yes, sir. Tomorrow's her birthday. Do you have ID on you? No. I don't know where it is. He, <laughs> had, he had my wallet earlier. I don't know where anything is. We came back from the... Do you have her ID? I don't. Oh, okay. Maybe in her backpack, in one of the side pouches, or it could be in one of those blue coat Okay. Please, just don't let him leave. He's so drunk. He's not leaving. Don't. I don't know. Where's, where's your I don't, wallet? I don't know. Okay, I don't okay. know. Okay. I don't know. Please don't let him leave. He's I don't not. know what's going on. He's not leaving. <laughs> we just came back from hanging out in a pool like a couple blocks away and then all of a sudden right. he came back in here and told me he was leaving what's me we're not name? supposed to leave till, fr till what's, Monday. What's your first name? Oh. Hey, here, I'll write it down. No, just tell me. The boyfriend bore scratches from the altercation but remained composed, explaining that they had both consumed alcohol. He also disclosed to the officer that she had choked him to prevent his departure. Need your phone number. Him, I don't want him to leave. Uh, because my birthday is tomorrow. I need, your, I need your phone number. Can I have your phone number, please? Is he trying to tell you that I, that no. I put my hands on him? Because I swear to God, I'm not trying to get him. Your phone number, please. Focus. I'm ready to write it down. I swear to God, if y'all put me in jail for I have, something I didn't do, I... I have a parenthesis. I'm ready. I swear to God in my life, I never I touched him. And this, this is not... Quickly. This is... Yeah. Did you witness them fighting? Did you witness them fighting? Not really. She's going to jail tonight for domestic battery. She has to. Why? All right. Why? Because we have probable cause. No, 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 no. Listen, I just... She is. It sir, is what it is. Sir. If you, if you okay. cause any trouble, you're going to go too. All right? Well, it not. is what it is. So stay here. Chill. No. No. No, I did not touch him. Please, please don't put me in jail. I'm you're not... Exist. That's going to be an extra charge. Not, I you're, didn't touch relax, him. I didn't touch him. Please, this room is in my name. Please. Chill. Oh my God. I swear to God in my life, I didn't touch him. Please, I'm from Louisiana. I have to be back at work on Tuesday. Now, please, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? What about my purse and my phone and everything else?
whatever yeah, you want to do. Uh, why are you arresting me? What Domestic did I do? Battery. What? We have probable cause. I swear to God, I never touched him. I Domestic swear battery. to God, I never touched him. We're supposed to be here. We're supposed to fly out on Tuesday. Where's your okay? Where's your person? I you swear to God, my life. Person? Are you really arresting me yes. right now? Where's your person? Can you look that way real quick? I have to double lock so you can get your person stuff. Right. This is not right. So what happens to all of my things are that are here? Person, that? Just do you want the whole purse or just this? There's no reason it's like this. Can you tell me what is gonna yeah, happen? What about all of my things that are here in this? Let's walk. Please, my work phone is yeah. my work phone. Yeah, read, this is your work phone? Yes. Uh, and my iPad is on that bed right now. What you're happens? You're not taking your iPad. Okay, but what happens to all of my things if I have to leave? Are you two married? Or are you dating? We're we we're to, we yeah, live together. We have a child together. Let's let's go. Go. Please go. tell me what is gonna happen to all of my things. Look at no. Consequently, the girlfriend was arrested for domestic battery. Prepare to witness justice served as we observe yet another abusive partner facing the consequences, promising a satisfying viewing experience. On July 2, 2022, in St. Petersburg, Florida, the police respond to a call regarding a heated argument between a man and a woman. The caller reports that the male suspect is bleeding. What's going on, ma'am? Listen, we got a call out here. Uh, like from I guess the staff here because you guys were out here screaming and yelling and arguing by your car No, and he was breaking phones and whatnot No, well, he just told me he broke the phone and that's how he cut his hand. No, so, we went out to like Downtown st. Petersburg. Okay. That was it. Okay. We were done. Okay. It was a calm night and then we came back here and then Do you live here? Yes, you you live here? Yes. Okay, do you know the address here? Yes. What is it? No, I'm asking, I don't want you to look it up. I want you to tell me if you live here, what the address we is. We just recently, like, moved in here. Okay. My mom's residence. Okay, that's fine. So is you that live okay? here. Can yeah, I? Yeah, you live here, and how, but how did he hurt himself? I don't know. I mean, Where it's did he just hurt himself? right here. I mean, there's, there's blood out blood here. So it clearly happened like out here in the street. What car do you drive? A Johnny, uh, Pontiac G6. Is it one of these right around here? Around the corner. Okay. Blue, dark, Did, All right, blue. let me ask you this. Did he hurt you? No. Did you hurt him? No. Did anybody else hurt him? No. He did this to himself on accident. Is he just drunk and he fell or I don't, make me understand. How does that happen? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. What did he hit? Did he like punch something like the ground or? Not that I'm aware of. Like people, like phones don't usually do that to people's hands. Oh my god. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? Yeah. Okay. You're good. Sit. How about you sit down before you hurt yourself? Just have a seat. Wait, I swear. Okay, I believe you. I'm just trying to, but you, at the same time, you can't really explain how this happened. It's puzzling that the woman cannot explain how her boyfriend sustained his injuries, leading to his profuse bleeding. Her increasingly hostile demeanor results in her arrest. Whose phone did he break, ma'am? Huh? Whose phone did he break? Was it his phone? He didn't break any phone. That's how he said he cut his hand. He broke his hand on a phone.
Is it, are you guys like locked out and he got angry because you're locked out? Or like, what's the deal here? I, make me understand. No. People don't just miraculously get arterial You can call my mother. Why would I call your mother? She's not here. I'm asking you because what is going on. she's the owner here. of the apartment. You're allowed in the I apartment. I believe that. I'm trying to understand why you are out here and he is bleeding everywhere. I have no idea. It just, like, just, he yes, just miraculously got God. an arterial bleed yes. in his finger. Okay. <laughs> Can you please let her know? No, nope, oh, we tried. Man. No, you did not let her Stop. know. Do not pull away. <laughs> Do not pull away. Stop. Mom! Come on. <laughs> Come on. We're done. We tried. Okay. Oh, uh, no. Come on. You're going to get another charge. <laughs> Stand up, Caitlin. You're being dramatic. Stand up. We tried to get you in your apartment. Stand up. Come on. You're just going to go and sober up at the jail, okay? Change your plans. Oh, you are so You are so Stand there for me. Okay, we'll get it. Just don't let her fall. Caitlin, stop resisting. The only person doing that to is yourself, man. Do, oh, not, do kick. not kick me. You'll oh, take a God. misdemeanor. Yeah, I all <laughs> I'm going to put your seatbelt on you, okay? I didn't do anything. Okay, face that way for me. Turn your head away from me. Eyewitnesses confirm that the boyfriend did indeed punch and break the phone. However, they also disclose that the girlfriend identified as Caitlin Rose High is a recovering alcoholic. Consequently, she is arrested for disorderly intoxication. Prepare for more intense rescues as boyfriends and partners find themselves liberated from their turbulent relationships. You won't want to miss the unfolding drama. In Eustis, Florida, police respond to a residence on July 3, 2023 where they are confronted with alarming accusations from a spouse. Hi. I haven't seen my kids in three weeks and I came here to see them and my husband will not let me see my kids. I called because I, I had something I was going to return to my husband and I rang the doorbell and they weren't there. And then I went to go see my other kids and he won't let me and he came after me and grabbed me. I was trying to see my kids. That's all yeah. I wanted. Which, which one? This one over oh, here. Okay. He has a felony on his record too. He almost killed me a couple okay. months ago. He's telling, he's, 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 he's got I'm my sure daughter. Is, yes, he's, daughter. I gave my daughter a phone so she could have it when she was here to communicate through with my name. Okay. And he took it and he won't let her have any communication. And he told me that he didn't want me to have the address to this house. Okay. How did, you're saying he, he grabbed you? How did he grab you? I was trying to go see the kids and he grabbed me and he pulled um, on my shirt. Where at? On my, uh, he grabbed my arms and he was holding me really tight and he wouldn't let me go near my kids. And just now or just before you guys got here I called you guys first because I'm trying to see my kids and no matter how many times I ask my kids okay do you, do you all have a custody agreement no or? there's no custody. we have I have an injunction on him okay I have an injunction on him which he already violated yesterday by coming in my house okay. and I have the court date on the 11th at 9 a.m. but nothing that I have done with the police where I live they will they won't help me right. so this, uh, Custody and everything's a civil issue. Right, it's we a civil, which I have to go to the state attorney absolutely. on on Wednesday when you guys are open. Yes, but I can't even get him to let me see my children. If you let me, I'll show you. I have this. 
I had to, he wanted his, he wanted his stuff back from the house. And I was bringing this over to him. I was bringing this over to you. Right, stay over, okay. stay over here with me. Stay over here with me. I'm sorry. Come on. We're not, I was bringing not, that gonna... to him so he could have it back because okay. he wanted it back. And all I want to do is see my kids. I wasn't trying to cause any problems. How many children do you have? Together? I have four, and okay. I have one on the way. Okay. And I'm I'm destitute. I have nothing at my house because he's taken everything, and now he's living in a big house with his girlfriend, and he won't let me see my kids. This is you guys' house. No, together, this is him or? and his girlfriend's house. Oh, okay. He he's he's already has a girlfriend and, and has my kids, and he won't let me see them because of them two are working together so I can't see my kids. I get I understand that. Un unfortunately the court system's gonna have to deal with that. I, Is there any way I, I can just see my kids? I just I, want to I see can't them. I can't force him to do that. I mean I one of them's right here, correct? Is she can she come home with me if she wants? Please. Because I don't want to be she's fourteen, anymore. almost fifteen the court I, I don't have any DCF said that go home DCF said that she's old enough to make if, that decision. Well I have to get my stuff. Go I, get your stuff. I can't yes and no. I mean, it's it is it'll it'll. I know be there's a fine line in the in the court system when you go for a, your divorce, your custody hearing, whatever yes. the case may be. She will have an opportunity to testify in that civil hearing. And the judge will take what she says into consideration. Yes. Most likely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have an ID on? Yes, sir. I do. Okay. I, I'll. I'll give don't don't engage with yes, your husband sir. anymore. I'll give you whatever you want. I don't have a record. I, no, I just, I just yes, got to run you to, to say who I'm out with. That's all. That's just what's, me. what's the uh, blood on your hand from? That's uh, because he grabbed me and I was trying to pull him away, so I, I hit him because I, I was trying to get away, and he did this to me in April. I don't want, I don't want to press charges. I don't want to do anything. All I want is to see well, my kids. If if that's your husband, if you're still married, I don't need your cooperation to press charges. The state will become the victim in a domestic violence situation. Right. Okay. I'm gonna. We're gonna continue uh, an investigation yes, here. Yes, sir. And then we'll we'll act accordingly yes, based sir. on what we find. Yes, okay. Sir. Come on back here to the back of the van. Yes, sir. Me. Let's just hang out here. We'll. Yes, sir. We'll try to. I'm, I'm we'll, not we'll, trying to cause any problems. No, you're I you're just fine. Want to see my kids. Absolutely. I I understand. If you have Echo to 62 Eustis, Florida DL for the wife. When, when did you two split up? Uh, when did late you, March. And you, you left at that time? He, or I kicked him out of the house. Were you... You, <laughs> you can go inside the van. I need to get her stuff if that's possible. Um, um, or not. It, it may not be possible. That's okay. You'll just come home. They're, they're, um, they're, her roommate's coming. They let me in. And then when I get my stuff, I'm leaving. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I understand. Why don't you go sit in the AC? It's um, unfortunate that children are used as pawns in divorce, and we can't it be is. civil without we, having to go through the court system. Well, you know what? I I always advise to go through the court system. That way, there's documentation. I have. I have a lot. I actually have a case. Um, um, I had family raise eight thousand dollars for me to help get me back on my feet to get tires and gas and food, and my bank froze it. And I've been having nothing but issues with my social security number and my credit. It's just like, do you work? I've been trying to find a job. I've applied so many. What do you places. What do you do? I like to do furniture. I um I have my own furniture business, but I don't have the money to buy the supplies that I need right now. Okay. The wife had been vocal about her husband's involvement with a new partner, but witnesses present a contrasting narrative. Um, I don't know if you want to talk to them. He got battered by her. She got battered by him too, she said. They have video and he's got a scratch mark on his neck. Yeah. He's, 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 she's, she's got okay. she's got she, blood on her knuckle from he she says he wrapped her up yeah, and wouldn't let she her go. Was, she didn't tell you the story is she was trying to batter her. His girlfriend. That's why he was holding her down. Ah. Yeah. So they were just walking home from the park, the park inside the subdivision. Mm -hmm. She per she the fourteen year old daughter told the mom where the girlfriend. This is the girlfriend's house. Yes. The male half was in Claremont. Oh, okay. So 
I don't know why she's parked like that. It's like 450 down. Sample Oh, they were walking home from the park. She said something in the lines of like, I'm going to kill you. Charged at the girlfriend. The male half got in front of the girlfriend so she wouldn't get battered. And that's when the boy, the male, the husband started holding her down. Oh, okay. Yeah. That the video obviously shows that he's holding her down, gotcha. and you see the girl, the ex-wife going like that, trying to get away because oh. she's trying to attack the girlfriend oh, of the male okay. half right now. That's they why wanna, she has a mark on her. They want to press charge. Or, oh, it's a mess. Well, I, I know that, but she said, "Yeah, yeah okay. I got him right." I was going to say that the state still won't prosecute it if there's no victim cooperation. They said they won't sit in there. Have you want to speak sure. I try to start recording, but the neighbors scooters down saw everything. Um, and then I just pushed past, and I'm coming back this way. When we went to the park, I shut the garage, and I left the front door unlocked. My roommate locked the door when she left, so she's on her way back to let me into the house. Hello. Hi. Okay. But I'm the, trying the, to the like... The older, slender girl has been staying here. No, she stayed here last night. Okay. But we've been trying to get her because something's happened with mom. Okay. The DCF is trying to do a thorough, more thorough mental evaluation because of the 30, 40 pounds she's lost in the past is few months. Is nobody with her? Either she's no, on she drugs She just told me to come over here. He was going to stay over there. Like, we don't know. <laughs> so I came out on my back porch and I saw that young lady and the gentleman kind of scuffing and her swinging and they're all screaming and, and uh, this young this lady was trying to get the kids in the house and everything else and so I told my nephew to go and get my phone call you guys and as he was going to get that I saw John walking up okay and I knew John was from the dep deputy's department so I was like well I'm just gonna walk with John to make sure he's okay okay but and then it just escalated let's now. relax so same thing. I was out on the back porch, green coffee, and I heard a lot of screaming. Okay, so sir. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was kids playing. And uh, when I looked, first thing I saw was the lady who lives here. She was trying to retreat, get away, and she's holding her video camera up. And, I, okay. and then I started hearing a lot of f bombs. So I kept looking, I'm trying to see who's fighting because I couldn't see from my vantage point. And then uh, I mean, a few seconds later, I see the new boyfriend, her soon-to-be ex. He was trying to restrain her and keep her from getting to the new girlfriend okay. and at that point I saw her I mean just start wailing on him hit him in the back of the head he's ducking he wasn't biting back he was trying to you know refrain her and, and keep her away from the new girlfriend and she was trying to get around him he kept trying to grab her and she hit him in the back of the head okay a couple two or three swings I saw him at least one or two landed that I saw and that's when I as it turns out, events took a markedly different turn. The wife was actually tipped off about the girlfriend's whereabouts by her own daughter. What followed was a confrontation that turned chaotic, with the wife attempting to assault the girlfriend while the husband intervened peacefully. This may also explain why the wife's car was strategically parked to obstruct the girlfriend's. Listen, I don't, I don't beat around the bush. I don't, I don't mess around. Okay. Um, and you are going to be arrested. Okay. I'm, I'm going to do everything I can. I'm not going to let your daughter see you go in handcuffs. All right. We're going to bring you back here. I'm going to. I don't I'm have gonna, any shoes. I got you. We're, we're, when you get to the jail, though, okay. You every everything that's coming out is, is telling us that you were the primary aggressor here. There's a video. Yada yada yada. Yes, okay. Sir. Um, how long will I be in jail for? Uh, it's, it's going to be a domestic charge since the two of you are married, so you'll be in until at least tomorrow morning, first appearance to see a judge. Okay? Um, I, I don't know if you... She can stay here. Well, she's going to have to. My car, it's, it's her my dad's van. Here. It's, it's, um, it's in my name. That's, that's going to be the tricky part because if, if they're not okay with it sitting in their driveway, we're going to have to impound it. Can I at least, okay. can I take my stuff in there with me? Can my daughter hold it? Or um, I just put myself in a bad situation. You, you did. And you know what? Listen, in, in the grand scheme of things, this will be a blip on the radar. You can level it out. 
use the court system, use us. Yes, sir. And don't, don't take matters into your own hands. And I, I understand, you know, relationships fall apart every day. New relationships are born every day. Okay, I don't, I don't know the ins and outs of your relationship, but I know, I know how I do this job. And I don't want your children to see you handcuffed and put in the back of a police car knowing that you're under arrest. I know that your, your 14 year old's probably going to know something. Your, your other kids don't have to know anything, at least not from my end. I know they don't need to see you getting slammed on the hood or the ground or anything and yes, thrown sir. in handcuffs and then thrown in the back of a vehicle. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Give me your first name one more time. Angela. Angela. That's what I thought. I was, I was torn between Angela and Amanda. <laughs> Subsequently, the wife was arrested on charges of domestic battery. Thankfully, she complied with law enforcement and was apprehended without resistance, ensuring that none of her children witnessed the ordeal. Next, we encounter a tumultuous incident unfolding at a Key West, Florida hotel on January 13, 2024. Police responded to a disturbance call and engaged initially with a woman at the scene. What happened? He was out for a long time. I came home, showered, took a nap, went out to night to, you know, have dinner and just hang out. And then it, he was just very confrontational. Okay. Did so, you did you guys spend the evening together or did you get separated at some point? No, I left. I went okay. to come home. Okay. Because he was very argumentative. So I came back to the room and I was like, you need to go. You have to go. And then it was just. Argument? Yeah. Back and forth? Yeah. Is it because um, he's drunk? Yeah. Okay. What's uh, what's the main issue? Why is he being rude? Okay. Because his sandwich was light. <laughs> I mean, that's so okay. silly. Is this? It's ridiculous. Is this like a normal behavior? It's not. I mean, it's usually very patient and very cool. And okay. we're okay. Okay. But how long have you guys been married? We're not even legally married. Okay. So, how so. long have you been together? Seven years. Seven years. You live together back home? Yeah. Okay. okay. Any children? No. Okay. Question. Uh, any arguments before this? Really? Like work just, no, no, this is the first time? I just needed him to come away. Okay. Because it was like getting, getting in my face. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I don't do that. I don't like to yeah. argue. Yeah. So, so uh, he's gone now. Okay. <sighs> What did what did he say? Where is he where is he going? Or what, what did he no, say? Yeah, but he's like, you know, just I'm like, I mean, and I smacked him, and he smacked me back, and you know, but I mean, but it, it's mm -hmm. nothing that's you know, I'm mean, not hurt. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have bruise. I hope I have a bruise, but I don't give a. It's not. Okay. Just leave me alone. I'll find my own way back home. Okay. Where are you guys uh, visiting from? Kentucky. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? It's in the room, and he shut me out of the room. So I need to go get in the room. Okay, so you got locked out, but he's not in there. Uh, does he have a key? Okay. Yeah, probably. Okay, so he left. I mean, like, um, I, I came in early afternoon, went to sleep, took a shower, and he went out. He stayed out. A lot of drinking, of course. And so when he came back, mm -hmm. um, you woke up. He was very argumentative. He's never, never argumentative, but he's, he was very confrontational. Mm -hmm. I'm like, stop. Does your uh, arm hurt? No. Can I have a look? Okay, just like put it on my back, like, you know, you're forcing me to, like, did you, like, uh, everybody? Yeah. Okay, so, you know, did he grab you to, like, pull you away, or? Just, like, just to pull me down like he's in your drum. 
Okay. I'm not. I'm not that person. I'm cool. I'm fine. I'm not going to deal with that. I just want to stop and leave, leave me alone. Okay. I'll find my way home. I can buy my own flight. Back yeah. Home. No. Like. Yeah. I'm okay. okay. Um, I actually work for Marriott, so I don't want this to be out against me. I just wanted him to go away. Leave me alone. Yeah. I don't want to argue about. Yeah. How did it come to that that he left? Because, okay, so he came back. He left. I was going to sleep and he came back home. He's like, you want to start sh And I was like, how can we sleep? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm like, stop. Slide down and go to sleep. We have these times. Mm -hmm. You get too drunk. I get too drunk. Everything's happening. Yeah. It's okay. And I told him that in many texts. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We all have our yeah. things. Just come home and go to bed. Okay. So at what point did he grab you? I'm just trying he to... He like, up on top of me and I... When you were in the bed? Yeah. Okay. And I grab him. Okay. Stop leaning on. Don't okay. come on top. Don't act like you're gonna come on top of me. Then who slept who first? I probably, I probably did. Because okay. he yeah. was on top you're of right. me on the bed. I felt okay. intimidated. Well, was it like a slap slap or was it a scrap? Get off me. Get off me. Kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. Do you think he's gonna have any injuries? No. Okay. And at that point, what did he? The, you said he, he slapped you. Too. You want to be aggressive with me? I'll be aggressive with you. Okay. I mean, but we're, it's okay. Okay. We're not. I still need to know what happened. Yeah, you know, I understand. Like, so but after you tried to get him off of you, what? Push me down. Just help me down. Okay. Held you down by what? Like you're not gonna touch me. You're not gonna. Okay. So he held you down, me. like kind of like in your chest area or hands. Bye bye. Like I flipped over to protect me. I oh, flipped okay. over. Okay. And How did you manage to call us and we at what point? And I just, I get in my phone, my watch. And I was okay. Like, so you, call. you called yeah. through the watch and when he heard you calling, that's when he left? Okay. Um, what, what does it look like? Just so I, you know, when I see him. He's white man with a big belly. <laughs> What initially seemed like a trivial dispute, perhaps sparked by a sandwich, escalated due to the influence of alcohol. The woman claimed her boyfriend had harmed her, but this narrative was only one side of the story. Uh, so I understand there was some misunderstanding between you and your uh, lady? My wife. Your wife? Yes. She told me you were not married, so... No, we're married. You're married? Yeah. Okay. She just... well... <laughs> she just never changed her last name? No. Okay. No, I just... She just kept it as is. Okay. So, How long have you been married? Uh, actually, it's our anniversary week. It's be six years on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. So what happened tonight? So basically, well, went down to the Ball Street, went to Irish uh, Kevin's, mm -hmm. ordered a Reuben sandwich, and literally it was like 40 minutes, still having a receipt. And so I asked the guy, yeah. I said, what about our sandwich? He's like, well, it shall be come up. I said, it's been 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. He said, no, you just ordered 10 minutes ago. My wife didn't like how I dressed him. She left, took an Uber. We had some text messages, all that good stuff. I came back to the hotel room, verbal uh, discussions. She slapped me. Uh, I restrained her hands. She called 911. And I'm like, I'm like, are you for real? I just simply like, okay, I'm defusing the situation here. So obviously I left. Mm -hmm. Cooled off, came back, haven't talked to her since. So you guys were not talking or texting or anything since no, not, you left? No, not, not since I've left. No, you can look at my phone. <laughs> I called her one time as I was heading back over here to find, because we fly out tomorrow, out of Fort Myers, got to rent a car, mm -hmm. drive, mm -hmm. the whole nine yards. And that, that's what happened. Why was the bed moved in the room? The bed. The bed. I don't there know are two it. beds, right? right? And right. one of them, when I got in a room, was like completely moved. Do you, do you know why? I have no idea. No idea. Okay, no. so when you say you came back and you got into an argument, was she was she asleep? Was she in the bathroom? What was she doing? No, she was, I mean, she was on the bed. She was on the bed. Okay. Lights were on. Okay. Yeah. She got furious with me. Mm -hmm. And like I said, she slapped me. Mm -hmm. I told her because actually, I was like, I'll just get another room. If you're going into the bathroom, mm -hmm. we actually bought these plants together. She slammed those things mm -hmm. in there. I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I, I, nothing whatsoever. So if a bed, I don't know what in reference to that, the bed got moved or something. Okay. But okay. I, I, I haven't done anything. She, she literally slapped me and I restrained her hands. So when she slapped you, where were you? I was in the other bed, closest uh, the, to the room. To the door right. or the yes. closest to the bathroom? Closest to... To the room. To the door. To the, yeah, to, to the, the door. door that you come in. So you were arguing and you were in bed and she was oh, in bed? I went, I went well, we, we had exchanged words, okay. right? 
And so I went to lay on the bed. Okay. She got frustrated, mm -hmm. come over, slapped me right in the face. Mm -hmm. I might even have still an imprint from it. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. I'm yeah. gonna shine the light on you. Okay. 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 You can you can just stay oh, normal. Oh yeah. Okay, so she slapped you like that. Yes. Okay. So after she slapped me mm -hmm. and was ready to slap again, I literally held her wrist okay. to where that she would not hit me anymore. Okay. Okay. And after that, what happened? After that point, I, I think I packed my stuff. Mm -hmm. I literally, you can see it, I tried to call her to see what's going on. She is my wife, mm -hmm. you know, so, but here's, see mm -hmm. the redness on my face. So she called 911. Her exact words were that she wants somebody out of the room. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, are you for real? All right, uh, hang out with Officer Ham for a moment. I'll be back in a second. Upon locating and interviewing the boyfriend, it became apparent that the situation was more complex. Contrary to the initial impression, the man revealed that they had been married for six years and asserted that the woman was the primary instigator in the altercation. So the reason I'm waking you up again is because I was writing my report, so I see him coming back, right? So I talked to him. The story he gave me is a little different, so I need to clear up what okay. actually happened, okay? Walk me through it again. He came home, and he's like yelling at me, and I'm like, get away from what me. What was he get yelling? Away from me. Huh? What was he yelling about? Why did I leave him down there? And I was like, just get away from me. Stop. Go lay down. Get away from me. Get out of my face. Go lay down. At that, I'm me. sorry, at that point you were in the bed? Yes. In that bed? Yes. Okay. Where was he? Standing over top of me. So I'm like, leave me alone. Just get away from me. And I'm like, get away and just swatting at him to mm -hmm. get away from me. Okay, and well, there was more, right? Oh yes, there was more. So like walk me through everything. He was like, you're not gonna smack me like that because mm -hmm. I was like swatting him, getting away, and he was like grabbed my, oh, grabbed my arm mm -hmm. and like, it's like, you're not gonna do me like this. I'm like, just leave, please, just leave. So the whole thing happened where exactly? You were still in the yes, bed. Yes. He was on top of you. Yes. Yelling at you. Yes. So at that at that point you you were swatting at him. Yes. At oh, and I'm not denying that I didn't tell him to get off of me. Okay. Now get away from me. Can you do me a favor and come over here? Am I in trouble? Hey, just step out here, please. Okay. Turn around, place hands okay. behind your back. All right. You are getting arrested for a domestic battery. Okay. You've been determined to be a primary aggressor in this. Uh -huh. Altercation throughout my investigation. I think so. Never, please. Yeah, yeah. Let me do this first. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Sell the calm one. I don't understand that. I'm sorry? I'm going to sell the calm one today. Yeah. Okay, so is this your phone, please? That's going to come with you? This first? Okay. Please. We can call somebody to help. Yes, absolutely. And you'll have access to everything. You're gonna see the judge first thing in the morning, and then what? he's gonna. Oh, my arm okay. is, hurts. Is it okay with you to My left arm hurts. <laughs> Your left arm? Okay, right here, right? Okay, I'll, I'm gonna. You want me to set this inside that bag for you? It's probably oh, ever out of here. I'm trying to call somebody to help me. Yes, ma'am, you'll be able to make a phone call fairly like, quick. Put this on for me so you don't get hurt. <laughs> This is so my room. He was the aggressor. This is so not right. Can you make sure the room closes? Subsequently, the woman was subjected to further questioning and ultimately taken into custody. Expressing her dismay at the turn of events, she found herself charged with battery and spent the night not in the comfort of a hotel room but under the supervision of the county jail.